everyone, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. This is going to be such a fun, simple project. So per usual, I will do a full tutorial and show you everything you're going to need. You probably already have all the materials, you can use any paper for this. But we are going to be using this beautiful paper collection today and I absolutely love this. It's a new paper collection by Cartabella. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the papers you get in here. But again, you can use any paper that you have for this. We're going to do the easiest binding system. So let me go ahead and show you the paper really quick and then we'll get started on the fun tutorial. So first you're going to need three pieces that measure 8 by 12. So these are going to be your front and back cover and then this is going to be your spine slash binding piece. So three pieces that measure 8 by 12 and you're going to need five pieces that measure 12 by 12 and these are the full 12 by 12 sheets. We're going to use the whole thing. Um, we're just going to fold it and score it in a certain way. So I'll show you that in a second. But yes, five full sheets of 12 by 12. And then last you'll need a piece that measures two and a half by eight. Okay, so now we're gonna do some scoring on the 12 by 12 sheets and these are gonna be our pocket pages in our album. Stick this in your scoreboard and the top is at the top, bottom at the bottom, and you're just gonna score in halfway at six inches. So just give it a nice score right down the middle. Then you're going to turn it like this, so now the bottom is at the left. You're going to do two score lines. So the first is score at one inch, and the second one at four inches. And then I'm going to bring in my three pieces that measure 8 by 12. So one of them I'm going to put aside for just a second because that's going to be the spine and binding piece. With these two, you're just going to simply put them in on the 12 inch side just like this and score down the middle at 6. And I've already done this one. So it's just basically folding it right in half. So you don't even need a scoreboard for this. So I'm going to put the other one in now and score right down the middle at six inches. And these two sheets are gonna be for the front and back cover. And then bring in your spine piece that also measures eight by 12. So we're gonna put this in and I'm gonna score this at every one inch. So you're gonna score every single one inch. So all the way down, to 11 inches. So just every one inch. There's one, two, three, four, So again, this is your binding piece. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm turning it to the more busy side. And this right here, this first flap, we're gonna fold it in. And after that, you're just gonna do an accordion fold. So then you're gonna flip it over and fold it back. 
flip it back, fold it in, flip it back, fold it back, flip it over, fold it in. So we're just gonna keep doing this accordion fold all the way to the end. Okay, so when you do your last fold, you're gonna have something that looks like this. So what we're going to do is just flip this over, and these are all the little valleys that we created with our accordion fold. So here's the mountain, and here's the valley. The mountain, valley. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue all the valleys together, but don't put glue on the two outside panels. But you're gonna glue all the valleys, and what I like to do is use um, a really strong adhesive for this, because this is gonna hold everything together. So I'm gonna use score tape. So I'm gonna take my score tape and run it right down the middle of each valley. So basically every panel is gonna get score tape right down the middle. Okay, so I have score tape on all of the valley panels, and as you can see, these two panels don't have any glue. So when you use score tape, you wanna, you just wanna press it down so all the glue gets into the fibers of the paper, and it holds really well. So then you can release the backing on all of the score tape. So now that we have everything super sticky, what you'll do is just close up all the folds so they glue to each other. So I like to start, this is gonna be the first fold we made, remember? We made that fold in right here. So just turn this around. You're just gonna join all of these together in that accordion fold. So you're just gonna close it up just like an accordion and all these will be glued together just like that. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and really press that down on both sides. And what we created there is the binding for our album. So this is where we're gonna put all of our pocket pages and our pages in our album. So isn't this so cool? So here's the cover. We're gonna put the cover on this little flap. And then here's all the pages inside. And then we're going to put our back cover on that flap. So this is like a really simple way to make a mini album, super fast with just cardstock. And then this is what the spine is gonna look like. You can leave it like that, or I'm gonna show you how you can cover this and make a little um, cover for the spine. So I'm gonna put our binding piece aside right now and work on our pages for the inside. So now we're gonna work on the pocket page that we scored. And remember, we scored it down the middle at six, and then we scored at one and four. So this is gonna be one of five pocket pages inside the album. Here's one I already folded. And so you're gonna decide what side you want to be like the pocket, and then what side you want to be the main part. So this is how it's gonna look with a cute little flap to give it a finished look right here. So for this one, I chose the cute B paper to be the main part and then the yellow for the pocket. So for this one, I want the cute little flower pots to be the main part and I will do this side as the pocket. The first thing I wanna do is just fold this in half at the six. And this is really, really thick and sturdy paper so I can use my bone folder. But if yours cracks really easy, just be careful with that part. So then I'm gonna open this up and turn it back around this way and I'm gonna fold at that four inch line so this is gonna form our pocket and then fold that one inch down so it just gives it a little bit of a finished look there and that is basically it you're done with your pocket page just got to add a little bit of glue I like to take my bone folder and kind of Fold that down because there's so many layers of paper here that it gets a little bulky. So I'm just gonna use my bone folder. And then we have our cute double-sided 
pocket page and you have a pocket here, a pocket there, and then you'll have a top loading pocket also. So we're just gonna add a little bit of glue to this. So I'm gonna open it up. And first of all, I just wanna glue this little flap down because it's just decorative. So I'm just gonna take my tape runner and run it along the edge. And just glue that down for like the little decorative strip. Then all we need to do is just glue the pocket shut like this. So I'm just gonna take some wet glue and I'm using the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. And I'm just gonna run a thin bead right along the edge here and right along this edge. So I'm just gonna close that up and let that dry really quick. So once that glue is dry, you can fold this back and this is your cute pocket page. Okay, so I got all the pocket pages done. So here they all are. I think they're really cute. This paper's so adorable. Here's the one that we did together. And so these are all the five pages for the inside of the album. And then we have the two that we folded just in half that were eight by 12. We folded them in half like this. So now all we need to do is put these in our album. So grab your spine piece right here, and we're gonna leave the front and back cover for last and put in our pocket pages first. And so one of the tips that I'm gonna share with you is when you go to glue this page onto your flap like this, you're gonna leave about half of an inch from this fold to where you glue it down. So this is one inch. You're only gonna glue it about a half an inch in. And that's gonna allow us to have more room to fill the pockets and there won't be such a restricted spine if we fill the pockets and do more decorating and things like that. So you'll see in just a second how easy this is. So first thing we're gonna do is just take our wet glue again and I'm gonna glue just the very edge of the inside of the first pocket page. So that one, and then also the very edge of this side. And then of course we need to seal up the bottom. So do a very thin bead across the bottom. So here's gonna be for the front cover. So we're gonna leave that right now. And we're gonna start gluing in all five of our pocket pages. So we're gonna take this pocket page now and just sandwich it onto that flap. So you can just stick it on there at first and then you have a minute to make it straight. So just make sure the top and the bottom are lined up. And I know it's kind of hard to see because it's like pattern on pattern, but I think it'll be easier to see right here. See how we're leaving about a half an inch there and then that's where we're starting to glue down. So once you think you have it good, go ahead and press that down. And with wet glue, you do have a minute to make it straight. So just press that down right onto the flap and on the other side too, just to make sure that glue completely dries. So let me show you what we have so far. So here's our front flap still that we're gonna adhere our cover to. And then here's our first page. We adhered it right to that flap. So once that completely dries, we're gonna go on to the next one right here. So then just take your page and do the exact same thing. You're gonna sandwich that over the flap but this time, go ahead and stand this up like this and just line up these two edges. That's how you know where to glue it down. They're lined up, you can press that down. Okay, so now we have our flap for our cover and we have our first two pages in there. And they're lined up perfectly because we use the wet glue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue in the last three pocket pages and I'll be right back to show you how we're gonna do the covers. Okay, so I got all five of our pocket pages on. Here they are and they're all even and they're so cute. Let me show you what this looks like from the top. 
So you can see here where there's no paper glued and that's gonna allow this to expand and so we can fill the pockets with goodies and decorate it and it won't restrict the album at all. So now we just need to add our covers and then I'll use this gingham for the back cover. So don't worry about these two colors clashing because that's where our little piece comes in right here that we're gonna use to cover this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue to the edges and the bottom, again, just like on the other pages, and we'll get this cover glued on there. So now we have this cover to the album. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the back cover, just like this. Here's our album. So we just need to add our spine and decorate it. It's so cute. You could totally just leave it like this. It looks fine. Um, or you could add like some lace or something right there. Just glue it down. Here's our cute album. It was so easy. And we're gonna finish this up. For the spine piece, I accidentally cut mine a little shorter than I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I cut it two and a quarter instead of two and a half, but it's supposed to be two and a half by eight, and you'll put it in your scoreboard and score it at one inch, and then flip it around and score it at one inch. So once you do that, you'll have one inch on each side, and the middle spine part will be a half inch. So all you're gonna do for this is add wet glue to the two outside flaps. Not the middle one though, just these two outside ones. Just add some wet glue. And for this, I do like to just take my finger and make sure it gets to the very edge. Just fit perfectly right there on our spine. So we're just gonna fit it right there. You have a second to line it up. So then I'm just gonna take it and kind of squeeze it like this and make sure the glue is really adhered on there. And see, it looks like a book now. There's a nice straight edge right there. It has a cute spine piece now. It looks just like a cute little book. I love how it turned out. And I wanna decorate the cover. So in this collection, as you saw, there are many cut apart pages and they're so cute. So most of these are gonna go in the pockets. I wanna choose one of these four by fours to go on the cover. Let's see. Okay, so I showed you those cut apart pages and I just went ahead and cut everything out. I used my paper trimmer and my scissors. You can do it however you want. It's really relaxing to cut paper, I love it. I just pour myself a cup of tea and I have so much fun with this. So I cut all of them out, all the four by sixes. I just put on one of my favorite YouTube videos. I was actually watching Morgan Long, 
while I cut out all these cute journaling cards and we're gonna fill the pockets. So I suggest if you are not motivated and you can't think of something to make or you don't really have any creative ideas at the moment, go in, take a paper collection or just some paper or a paper pad and just start cutting paper. I think it is so relaxing and just put on your favorite podcast or audiobook, music, YouTube video, whatever you want to do. And I just feel like it's so relaxing and so nice to have just that time to yourself. So this was so fun and now we get to fill all the pockets. So this killed basically an entire paper collection and I'm always looking for ideas for that because I have so many that I have collected over the years that I need to use up. So let's go through our album and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cute one right here and I want to put it on the inside cover right here as another little additional pocket. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit on either side. So all we need to do for that is glue the bottom and the two sides. Be super random about what I choose to put in here. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. So I'm just gonna put some of those in there, just like this. so many more things to these pockets but this is how it looks on the top and the side and I didn't use any of the stickers but you can go through and decorate this with the stickers and also add things to the top loading pockets so I just added things to the smaller pockets so let's do a quick flip through of our album here's the cute cover and the spine and the back this came together so easily so here's the front and I actually wanted to put something in there too. So you can even take like a stamp tag like this. I made these in my previous video and stick that in there. I think that'll look super cute. And we added a bunch of fun journaling cards. You can add photos to the back or journal on here. And I think they're so, so, so pretty. I just filled up the pockets with all the cute cut aparts. I mean, how fun is this? And this, like, the possibilities are endless with these. I love these ones here. They're so cute. This one you can journal on. And of course, you can add stuff to the actual page, but I just wanted you to see how cute all this is. So this doesn't even need a closure at all, but you know me, I would close it with seam binding and these are two colors from my scrap cabin on Etsy, my favorite Etsy shop for seam binding. And this one here is called Rainforest Green and this one is called Sunkissed Coral. 
So look how perfect that would look with this. And then just to keep this closed and give it a little decorative touch, and just tie that on there in a cute little bow. And it'll just be a removable closure. I think that is so cute and I hope that you will go and try this album. It is so easy. Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos. The support means everything. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you again so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.